All right, tonight, guys, we have another first for me. This is the Phoebus Reef Master. And again, a big thanks to James over at the Great Bambino channel. This is his watch, and I kind of got it through, you know, from James through Chris over at the Watch Lounge. I'll put a link to both their channels down in the description. Big thanks to both those guys, but especially James for, uh, you know, lending watches in and everything like that. I really appreciate that. Um, I gotta say, first impressions, uh, this is a really well done watch. I've always been kind, <coughs> excuse me, I've always been kind of um, app apprehensive of Phoebus because of the such a low price point. This thing is only $239 on their website, but it's kind of like a total package. Like, so if you're Looking, you know, just over that $200 range, uh, this is a really solid option. I don't know. Uh, they have a few different colorways and everything. Um, this is obviously a, a DLC. Um, they might have some other ones. I'll put a link to their um, website in the description as well, and you can check it out for yourself. But, I mean, you have uh, a, a domed sapphire crystal with an anti-reflective coating. You have a very heavy, they claim 15 layers of BGW-9 loom applied down in that sandwich dial. And you can see the uh, indices are cutouts, you know, in that dial, which I think is a really cool effect. It gives it a really um, interesting depth to the dial. I've heard people say that that's a cheaper way of doing a dial instead of doing um, applied indices. But I don't know if it is less expensive or more. I honestly don't really care. I still think it's really cool. So whatever. Uh, either way, the bezel action on it is superb. It's 120 click. Um, it, it's not, it's, there's no variation in the tension of it. It's, it's super consistent all the way through. There's enough resistance on it that it's not going to spin um, accidentally, but it's loose enough that you're going to be able to, you know, fidget spin it if you want to. There's very, very little bit of play. I mean, it's not even really play. It's more of a take up, if you will. Yeah, there's no back play or anything like that. It's more of a take up in between the snap, if that makes sense. You have a, a really well done uh, bezel insert there. So, I mean, overall, I mean, at $239, geez, man, this is super hard uh, to beat this as a value option. It's a 300 meter depth watch. You have a, a really cool case back here with that like King Octopus on the back here. Not sure with the waves and the three stars. I don't know. I'm sh sometimes there's meaning behind all that. Sometimes there's not. It's a uh, either way. It's a pretty cool looking logo. You do have a signed crown. It is obviously with 300 meter uh, depth rating. It is a screw down crown. So you can see on that screw down action here, you get a nice little pop at the end. And it is a hack and hand wine. This is the Seiko NH35A movement. So that first one that's going to give you your date change. And then you can pull it out the second one. Of course, that hacks, and you can set your time. And, of course, you can wind it as well. And uh, it threads right in, no problem. So it comes on this ISO frame style strap. Um, they're overall really comfortable. You're going to be able to find a good fit on it. This one is uh, no exception. This is you know a really nice one. I don't know that it would be my personal pick. Um, I'm more of a bracelet guy, obviously, but if you look at the, uh, uh, oh, let's go over sizes real quick. It's 22 millimeter lug width, uh, 40, I measure 42.3, they claim 42, um, I get 42.3, so that's really close, uh, 48 millimeter lug to lug and a 14 and a half millimeter thick, but that's including that, uh, slightly domed crystal there, so, um, they don't have a bracelet option as far as I could see, So, but the, you can tell the spacing uh, in between the case and where the spring bar is going to go. You're going to be able to put whatever strap you want on this thing, and you're definitely going to be able to play with NATOs. So if NATOs are your thing, it's typically not mine, but you can see here it is on my 7 and a quarter. It wears great. I mean, for a 42 millimeter watch, it doesn't feel like it. Not, part of that is when you go with an all-black watch, I, uh, I feel like it wears or looks smaller on the wrist. So this one definitely does that. If you're into the DLC coated watches, I think this is a killer value. And you can tell the coating on it is, is well done. The finishing on it is uh, nice. 
So I really like the uh, white with the blue handset too and the, the other blue markings on the dial here around the chap on the outside here around that track and then of course the writing the 300 meter and the automatic um, it's very subtle very, it works really well with the black dial I think so overall I think this is a killer killer value comes in a, a pretty simple but you know effective nice little box here um, I didn't really see any extras so but I mean at 239 what more do you want? You can tell all the money was done right into the watch. So um, let me shut the lights off and we'll get a look at that BGW-9. Now, initially, uh, BGW-9 is going to be a blue, you know, more of a blue color. And hopefully that's coming through on the camera. It looks kind of green when I'm looking at it. but And it's not going to be like as intense right away as, say, like a uh, Seiko SKX. You can see off on the left there. But you can tell this is a healthy application of BGW-9, so it is going to stay at this level of intensity for a very long time. You can tell that it's uh, just really well done. And again, that at a, a watch that's only $239, I, I really, uh, of all the watches I've seen come across my desk, you usually don't see uh, a healthy application of loom or um, bezel action as good as this or... I don't know like it's that's a lot of watch for the money so uh, I will be looking at the brand Phoebus more um, like I said sometimes just getting one in hand and checking them out it uh, you know can get rid of those preconceived notions that you might have about a particular brand or something like that you know I've watched a bunch of videos on them and everything um but really, this is my first time handling it, and I'm seriously impressed. It's a, it's a really good uh, value option. So if you guys are looking at that just over $200 price range, look at the Phoebus. Look at which models they have. Hopefully try to find a colorway that you like and give it a shot. So thanks for watching, guys. I have uh, plenty more vids coming. Uh, might even post another one tonight. So thanks for watching.